What's going on guys? So in this video, I wanted to give you my quick thoughts on a fragrance that does continue to get better and better the more I spray it, the more I spend time with it. Though admittedly, I do like the standard Eau de Parfum in the signature line just a little bit more. Today we are going to be talking about Costa Azura Parfum. It's from Tom Ford in the signature line. So stay tuned. So this has a very simplistic note breakdown. It's lemon, cypress, and oak wood extract according to the brand's website. And you definitely get all of that, but I do get a little bit of that incense hit. I have it on my hand as well, and as you can see from my decant, I've sprayed quite a bit of it. Um, I do get a little bit of that incense smoky type of feel in the backdrop on this fragrance from the EDP. So I have tried the EDP. It is fresher and it's got a little bit more of an aquatic tone, whereas this has more of a foresty green type of feel. Like the Cypress here is pretty strong. It is a nice fragrance overall, but it doesn't blow me away. And admittedly, the Eau de Parfum in the signature line doesn't blow me away either, but I do prefer the scent profile just a little bit more. Not to say that this isn't a nice aroma and it does smell of quality even for the signature line, it has almost a little bit of a soapy tone in the backdrop. I'm sure there's some form of aromatics here. Just because they only give three notes, that doesn't exactly mean there is only three notes to make this aroma. Uh, this is nice. I do see how those that like kind of that um, oak wood type of smell could really enjoy this because oak wood's kind of a hit or miss type of woody note in a fragrance for me because sometimes it comes across as kind of a a little dark and bitter on my skin and it does do that a little bit here the the cypress note does add this fresh green almost minty like herbal feel to kind of lift it from go, kind of going too far into the path of what I don't really like from the oak and the lemon is very believable it's a very mouth-watering type of lemon so the quality like I said is definitely fantastic the blend is pretty much as good as it's going to get I would think it's superb overall and it just doesn't wow me though that's the only thing I do think this is a very good scent I just don't think this is one that even once I go through all of this I don't think I'll be getting a bottle of but let's discuss performance Now, in regards to performance, performance is fantastic. It's what you would hope it to be. I've been getting in the seven to eight hour range, so you can safely presume six to eight hours. I've had people tell me that they get a little bit more than that, uh, but it seems to be what I get out of this seems to be kind of the going rate for what people are getting in performance with the Parfum Flanker. Um, it's... It's about as good as you could expect it to be. It does sit a little close to the skin because it's a heavier oil concentration, but the projection here is still what you would expect. If you're a heavy sprayer, it will go beyond arm's reach If you once you start getting into that 8, 10, 12 spray range. If you're a moderate sprayer, like I am most of the time, 5 to 7 range, it will reach out and grab somebody, especially in the first 2 to 2 and a half hours is when this projection is going to be the strongest on this fragrance. And then it does get a bit calmer and close to the skin with with a moderate to mild sillage that again not the strongest most you know dense and lingering trail out there but it does have a bit of a thickness to the aroma so it does linger a little bit so when you pass by somebody there is opportunity for them to smell you relatively easy if they're breathing through their nose anyways uh, but overall I think the performance here is kind of above average across the board and I think it would suit a lot of people's taste because most people want their fragrance to be noticed by others and this one definitely has the staying power and the pushing power overall to kind of grab a little bit of attention without being an overwhelming room filler. Final thoughts on this one overall, I do think it's a very good fragrance. I just like the Eau de Parfum a bit better, so I don't see myself getting a bottle of this. And I mean, I have plenty here. This has taken me a good bit to go through almost a third, a little over a quarter, almost a third of this decant. 
I just spray it sporadically. Like I said, I do like the way this smells. I do think it's a very good fragrance. I just rate the EDP in the signature line a little bit higher. The freshness um, is kind of more my cup of tea because there is some added freshness to that one. And performance is kind of what and what between the two. But overall, I do think this is a 7 out of 10 fragrance. I do think it's very good. Like I said, I'm not here to knock it. It's just, even though I give it a 7 out of 10 and call it very good, like I said, that's what's veering me away from wanting to get a bottle. Now, if this was the only version out there, I'd be cool with getting this. But the EDP does suit me a little bit more. So that's the one I plan on getting a bottle at some point before year's end at the recording of this. We're midway, right past midway through 2022. It's the beginning of August. And, uh, you know, like I said, it's very good. I just would prefer the EDP. Well, that's my thoughts on Costa Azura Parfum. Costa Azura Parfum, if I'm to pronounce it correctly. From Tom Ford in the signature line. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. How many of you tried it? How many of you love it? I mean, I'm sure there's people that love this fragrance out there that would rate it higher than a 7 out of 10. Uh, but 7 out of 10, like I said, it's a very good rating in my rating system. Um, like I said, I do like it. I do like it. And even if I could get this one for a few dollars cheaper than the Eau de Parfum, I think I'd still get the Eau de Parfum because, like I said before, it just suits my scent profile. This isn't one of those cases like with ombre leather and ombre leather parfum whereas i want a bottle of both of those those are both different enough whereas this stays true to the eau de parfum it's a very similar scent profile it's kind of a reworked denser take on it it's a little bit heavier a little bit more earthy toned a little bit more on the fall bordering into winter and early spring territory whereas the edp Kind of can go year round, but I think we'll do better overall in the summertime than this one. Because like I said, it has that freshness, more of a marine tone to it. But uh, it's a good fragrance nonetheless. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on Costa Azura Parfum from Tom Ford and you give it a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys. Mm -hmm.